he said, he said, he's a good shepherd. And he said, I lay down my life for the flock. I lay it down. You don't have to make me. You don't have to pay me. Please stop 
somebody read verse 7 for me. I don't want to read. Somebody read verse 7. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But back that up again. You're no more a what? Therefore, thou art no more a servant, but, but a son. So in other words, once I mature, once I stop letting all this little silliness get under my skin that can stop me from serving God, once I begin to, uh, I'm, I'm able to take some stuff, once I can stop fighting with my brother and my sister in the church, sitting right next to them, once I say I love them, you understand? Know once I can stop getting mad at the preacher when he comes and he steps on my throat, he can get the truth. When I can grow up, then the Bible says that I'm no longer, no more a servant. And I'm considered to be a son. See, why, why, why we in our immature state? If y'all ever read the scripture that says that the weather of the wicked is laid up in the chest? If y'all ever read that? I don't know why it's laid up, he just gives it to us. Huh, all right. And it's laid up. Because we came out in our church. Uh, you know, we pray for, you know, no, man. Let's, let's be real. A lot of us, we pray for money. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, a lot of us, yeah. I got my hands to be. The Lord got to keep the money. I mean, but come on, you know. God, a lot of times, God won't give us exactly what we need until we're mature enough to handle it. Amen. Amen. A lot of times, what we pray for, God will withhold that thing until we can handle it because He knows if He gives it to us at that point, that'll turn our hearts to us. Man, you know, we see people at the biggest fool around here come tax time. <laughs> Wash the dishes. I'm 